Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. Nowadays, if you are going for an Spark interview, definitely you will see a lot of questions based upon the Kapka also. So nowadays there was a time, you know, when the people were focusing on the high scope. But if you see nowadays that they are mainly considering that you should have the knowledge about the Kapka as well as Spark. So in this video, I'm going to tell you like how you can start the Kapka cluster. So what are the things which are coming over here in the Kafka? So we are going to see it from the scratch only. Before I go to my screen, I would request you to please do like, subscribe and share this channel. Whenever you are working as a Kafka developer or Kafka administrator, so you know that there are few services which are really, really important. Now we'll start with the Zookeeper. So the first service that you need to start, it is your Zookeeper only. Without starting the Zookeeper, you cannot start your Kafka cluster. So first, we will start with the Zookeeper services. Then, we are going to start our Kafka broker. So, first is your Kafka Zookeeper. Second one is your Kafka broker. And third one, that we are going to create a topic. And then, we are starting the services called producer services and consumer services. Once it is done, then I will show you like how the things, how you can see the messages which are coming from your producer and will be received by your consumer. That all those stuffs we are going to see it practically. So basically I have set up the three node cluster on my Windows machine and let's get started. So currently I'm using the IntelliJ ID and I have already imported the project. So you can see the list of scripts over here on my left hand side. We know in the Kafka, the first service that we need to start that is related to the Zookeeper. So let me open the Zookeeper services and I have already installed the Confluent Kafka on my Windows machine. If you want me to help you out how to install the Kafka on Windows machine, which is a three node cluster basically, we, have, we tried to install it over here and I have already done the configuration. So in this video, I'm going to start this Kafka cluster and the list of services we are going to start it from here. If you want my help to do the installation of Kafka Confluence uh, server, then let me know, okay? Uh, definitely I'll be creating video on that. Now the first services that I'm going to start, that is your Zookeeper. So I have the Zookeeper bat file already, which is right. So let me try to run it. So I'm just starting it. Let me open the terminal so that we can see the logs over here. Now I just started, okay, so there is one mistake that last time I made some changes to the Zookeeper services. So it should be Zookeeper server start dot bat. So let me try to run it one more time. So I just started the Zookeeper. Just check the logs if you find any kind of the issue uh, while starting the Zookeeper, then again, it's a part of your troubleshooting. So that thing you need to take care. All right, so I can see the Zookeeper has been started now. The second thing that we need to start is your Kafka server. Right now I'm using the three node, but the thing is here, since it is my single node, what I did, I tried to create three server properties file over here. Okay. So you can see over here, Kafka servers, first one, Kafka server, second file and Kafka server, third file. All these three files are pointing to server 01 properties, server 02 properties and server 01 properties like that. Okay, so let me start this Kafka broker. So basically on this environment, we have three broker here. Okay, and that is what I'm going to start it now. So let me start from the zero. So first broker I started, then let me start the second broker and let me start the third broker. Okay. So meanwhile, when I'm starting the broker also, we need to ensure that all these three broker has been started and you need to also monitor to the logs over here because we should not see any kind of the error message. So zero is done, one is done. And what about the third one? I cannot see here. Let me try to do it one more time. Okay. Now the second means which is the third one because we started with zero, zero, one and two. So all the three broker we have started it right now. Now what I need to do, I need to create one topic. So producer is the service which is going to write your message into the topic, right? So let me try to create one topic here. This is the Kafka home. You need to set up this Kafka home on your system variable of your Windows platform. 
which I have already set up. Now I'm going to create, okay. I'm going to create a topic and the topic name is employee details where I'm going to create a five partition. Okay. And the replication factor here, it is three. Okay. So let me try to create a new topic. So let me run it. And the meantime, you need to just monitor to the logs also. Okay. So I can see the topic has been created. All right. So now we can have our producer which can write the data into this topic and the topic name is employee details. So what I'm going, I'm opening the producer start.cmd file. Okay. And let me try to run it. So this is going to write the data on employee details. This is a topic name and this is a bootstrap server which is pointing to 9092. Okay. So let me try to run it and the producer is getting started yes it has started now meantime let me give pass the first message as hi okay now when i'm saying that i have started a producer which is creating the message okay now it should be received by someone so producer is just sending the message so who will receive it it will be received by the consumer so let me start the consumer services and if you see the consumer that we are writing we are reading all the messages from the beginnings so can you see here that i i can see the first message hi is there let me say in another message hello and press enter i can see the second message is pointing over here third message thanks for watching please subscribe okay then let me send it and you can see the third message has been received by the consumer. So this is how you can start the services of your Kafka cluster. So if you want my help to do the installation of Kafka on your Windows platform, then definitely you can put it into the comment section. I will tell you about the step by step because most of the steps I have already performed on my system and it's not possible to, you know, uh, put all the things in one video. So if you have any queries, just let me know into the comment section. So let me try to repeat whatever the things which we have done. So first thing is we have started our Zookeeper services which is an essential service. Second thing is we have started our Kafka broker. Now on my system I have configured three broker that is ID is broker ID 0, broker ID 1 and broker ID 2. So three brokers are there. So we need to start each and every broker. And third thing is we need to create a topic. So I just created one topic with the name, uh, I can see employee details. And then once our topic has been created, we can start our producer and that producer will write the message into that topic, right? And once you write down your message, so we can, you can see over here that I started with the high and this is done with the help of producer. So if I'm sending something, there should be someone who is receiving it, right? So that message will be received by the consumer. So we need to start the consumer services. Once I start the consumer services, all the message which I sent from the producer all got received on the consumer end. Because in consumer side, I have mentioned that from beginning. So whatever the message which I sent from the starting itself, all received on the consumer side. So this is all about the Kafka how you can start the Kafka site. So if you have any questions, queries, let me know. And if you're looking for training, let me know. Again, if you have any qu questions, queries, anything, put it into the comment section, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. See you again with the next video.